Title, Judge Hits the Pause Button on 3M Toxic Trial, Are We Smelling a Settlement? TL, DR, a trial against industrial heavyweight 3M, accused by the city of Stewart, Florida, of water contamination with harmful forever chemicals, has been delayed by a U.S. judge. The delay smells a lot like a settlement might be brewing. Both parties are reportedly making significant progress in their discussions. Meanwhile, 3M stocks took a 1.3% dip, but the real question here is, what's the cost of clean water? In a world where big corporations frequently make headlines for all the wrong reasons, it seems like industrial giant 3M is the latest player in the Who Contaminated the Water reality show. The city of Stewart, Florida, has aimed its legal slingshot at the conglomerate, accusing it of turning their water supply into a toxic cocktail made of chemicals with the worrisome nickname of Forever Chemicals. So what happened? The judge pumped the brakes on the trial with the claim that both parties are on the brink of a potential agreement. This, however, isn't a chill, let's have a cup of tea and sort this out kind of delay. It comes with a 21-day countdown, after which the trial could be back on if no agreement is reached. But what's the beef about, you ask? Well, Stewart has accused 3M of making and selling firefighting phones that contained fizz, these so-called forever chemicals, which ultimately wound up polluting local soil and groundwater. They're seeking over $100 million for filtration and cleanup. Yep, you heard it right, $100 million to clean up the mess they didn't make. Now, this isn't just a Stewart versus 3M thing. This is like a domino effect. This lawsuit was set to be a test case, with over 4,000 similar cases filed against 3M and other chemical companies by U.S. municipalities, state governments, and individuals. Just last week, three other chemical companies, Shimmers, DuPont, and Corteva, agreed in principle to settle claims they contaminated U.S. public water systems with fizz for a whopping $1.19 billion. Is this becoming a trend? 3M, feeling the heat, announced last December it would stop producing fizz by 2025. That's a move in the right direction, but is it enough? Especially when these forever chemicals, used in everything from non-stick cookware to cosmetics, are linked to cancer, hormonal dysfunction, and environmental damage. This is a story that makes you wonder about the true cost of industrial progress. Is it just about the financial settlements, or is there a higher price we're paying in terms of health and environmental damage? And the biggest question is, will this delay lead to a meaningful settlement, and more importantly, meaningful change? What do you think? Are we heading towards a cleaner future or is this just a drop in the polluted ocean?